Hey everybody, it's Savage Sage and welcome back to my playthrough of Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. In the last episode, we actually got a couple leads for us to do. We actually have, I feel like we have so much to do at this point. I think there was a point in the game where we were just faffing and we didn't know what to do, but now that we've opened up enough things, I feel like just so many things have kind of chain reacting, like, opened up as well. So that being said, we have pretty much finished off that ship. There's nothing left there. We're looking for the ability to fly, and if we could get that, that's going to open up all this loose end stuff up here that we've been wanting to get rid of for so long. Um, I mean, that would literally open up the rest of everything, so we would be able to go check that out. So we're really on that hot on that quest right now. It led us back to the Forbidden Underground Waterway, but like on a different side of it. And none of the other side of the waterway seems to be connected to where we're going right now. So, whew. so I was just drinking some ginger ale. And then we also got opened up to us the sorcery lab, the another underground secret sorcery lab. I thought we already found one of those, but it seemed to be like a new area. We saw Dominique and Alfred there. Um, but we decided that this is a little more important to write this second. Because we got a message arrow from Zangetsu himself saying to seek out a strange demon for the ability to fly. Like, hello, we want that. Wow, that guy freaking poisoned us. You're the rudest, sir. We don't enjoy that at all. What is over here? There's just so many ways to go right now. Ooh, a fairy scarf. Is that worth a shit or no? Um, it's better for intelligence, but lowers. Let's actually do it. Just because I'm sick of the same <laughs> one that we've had for forever, to be honest with you. Like, let's just switch it up. If it increases intelligence, it should help with our portraits attack power anyway, right? So, yeah, might be worth it. Okay, don't stone us. You freaking eyeball. Oh, and fire. Sick. Thank you so much for that. We're just trying to get some items and stuff, but you're trying to ruin our life. And it's cool. I see you over there. Seems like Alfred and you have all the same spells, but he's just a better version of you. What is this? Fried fish and mahogany. We're getting that combo a lot lately, which is kind of weird. All right, so let's see where else there is to go. It seems like just this chest. Steel lightning. Let's check it out. <coughs> it's a great sword and it's not better than our current weapon but it's lightning elemental so you know it's there it's a thing <laughs> but that's okay we're always down to get the map completed i feel like once we get the ability to fly we're gonna have like a whole ass episode on just running around oh my gosh a whole episode of just running around oh yeah and collecting the rest of the stuff that we can open up now because that's going to open up everything and there's definitely loose ends that we have map wise so we're looking to fill those loose ends words of wisdom that's nice to have again so now we want to go this way okay so it seems like you have to use at least reflector ray oh wow how are you supposed to get up there hmm am confused there's another way to go this way, so maybe this is the way. That looks like something we should maybe come to after we have a flying ability. I'm just very confused, to be honest. So we have to go back over to the desert. He did say, seek the hot place. So this would maybe make more sense, but that was just a weird transitional place, so I don't know. But it kind of looked like an area that we have to come back to. Once we can fly, since we know that flying is a thing, then guess who straight up said it? I don't really care about you. You can assemble yourself. You'll swim over at me all scary, and I'll be gone, so it's fine. Get this thing out of my way. Get that guy out of our way. Don't throw stuff, sir. That is very rude. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this way? It just seems to be a treasure chest. Which I guess I'm not upset about. The weighted ring. What does that do? 
A heavy ring increases your experience intake. Now that is interesting. I think we're okay right now, though. But that's very interesting. So, oh, there's another loose end over to the right. There's like a top area we could go to. So we should maybe check that out. Because we need the ability to fly, like, real bad. That would just make everything perfect. I'm assuming it would have to be some kind of boss, though. Unless it's this chick, because he said it's a weird demon that's falling up. And we have not gotten her shard yet. But it seems like with these types of enemies, like, for example, the weird... Oh, how are we going to get up there? Like that? <laughs> oh, God. It's just a treasure room, but I want it. Nice, we did it. Potent ammunition, HP max up, so that's pretty sick. No hidden walls in here. No, so I'm glad we did that. Where else could we go, though, here in the desert? Doesn't look like we can. And that part that went to the underground waterway, we can't really make that jump. I really don't think we can. Which leads me to believe that it has to be those chicks. It has to be you that falls up. And we're just, what, going to have to kill her a bunch? It seems like her drop rate is extremely low. Because that's literally the only thing I could think of. Unless it's that rocky dog, but I don't... That wouldn't make sense to me. I mean, we can try it. We can go between the two of them. They're the only two monsters we don't have the shards of. Give me your shard. She's not giving it up easy. Let's see about the dog. Do you have an easy shard to give us rocky? Nope. He gave us silk. I'm just going to keep going back in between. That's the only thing I can think of, and I need to at least get it out of my mind. Because if that's not correct, we need to know that so that we can look for other solutions. But I kind of think this might be it. But sh her drop rate is super low. The same with this Rocky dog. He's not really giving it up easy. Nope. So that's kind of annoying to me. Give me your shard, lady. Just hand it over, please. Oh, I got slowed. Sh nothing. I really think it's her, not the dog. This is the worst. What, she just left this time? Alright, hold on. Let me just check if I'm right. Because if I'm wrong, I don't want to waste this time faffing. Okay, I just looked it up, and it did not even mention this lady at all. So we're just going to assume that's not it. So let's use one of our handy-dandy waystones that we know we have. <laughs> Go fix ourselves up just a little bit, and then I guess we'll go to that library. The not library, the sorcery place or whatever. We'll go there because that was our other lead. So, hello. How can I help you? Hello. First, let's sell. I don't even know what I want to sell. Whatever we can. This I'm not gonna use it. We're gonna you gonna use that. Not gonna use this. We have five of those. You can have them all. Not going to use this. Not going to use this. We'll keep the Traveler's Hat. Get rid of that. Do you have anything new for us? 
She really does not. She still has all of her old crap. Let's get a couple more high potions. Let's get a... Well, we have five of those. We're okay. Ooh, this removes curses. We hate the curses. Let's just ha do that. These waystones, we want them. We like being able to run from those. Oh, and then you can just straight up buy food from her. Well, that's interesting. And food materials. Is there new stuff that we can buy from her? Or is it just the same stuff? It looks like it's the same. Thank you. Okay, goodbye, Dominique. Let's go heal up and help ourselves real quick. Doubt there's anything else we can power up. We've been checking in here pretty often, so I'm down to skip it real fast. That being said, let's save. Yes, yes, yes. And let's... I did not start a timer for this episode. We will figure that one out. I don't know when. Not right now. Um, Moving forward, we want to... Go to the sorcery place. Which was where? Over here? No, that's the underground waterway. Hidden desert. Secret sorcery lab. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do this. What is... Th oh. It's this place. We need to kill this lady a bunch of times, but we found out last time that she is mad dangerous. She has a whip. She can do some kicking stuff. She's not our friend. That dark elemental over there, not our friend either. There's freaking guillotines around here. This place is kind of rude. Jeeple's efforts have supplied us with a large quantity of shards. Now that the children are well trained, we have begun shard binding experience to great success. One girl in particular, Miriam, seems to have boundless potential, both in terms of how many shards she can wield and to what magnitude. My calculations are correct, then we finally amass enough crystal to perform the great demon summoning. It has been a long and arduous path, but we will soon reach the end. My old friend continues to oppose the ritual. However, to gain, we must sacrifice much. It is the most basic principle of alchemy. Okay, so we're learning a little bit more about the messed up situation we've kind of been a part of. There's some silk. I'm sure that's good for something. Well, let's just keep traversing through this place. As we look for things and things and stuff and things. As you know. Ooh, a save room. Wow, there's one right here. Well, let's, let's take advantage of it. Ooh, 68.8 percent of the map is is done we're almost 70 percent there oh does that look like a boss room okay ew, what the fuck that's old miriam okay and she's moving like zangetsu question mark oh yikes this is gonna be rough i can already tell oh my gosh what do we have a freaking doppel what when did i get that move actually i do remember getting that move does she have all of my moves or does she have set moves? Just like potential things we could have got. I don't like that sword that you have, lady. Oh, speaking of... Let's change... Come on, Silver Knight. We need you in our lives. Get one high potion on us. Because this is ridiculous and wild. Stop with that fire crap. Okay. That was scary. I hate you. Let's try this move. Oh, I can't do it. I can't pull it off. I'm not that good. Oh, I did do it. Nice. That was a sick little combo you saw us do, huh? Doppelganger. Back the hell up. Oh, my God. What is with all the words, lady? We had some words, and then she came at us with the whole freaking alphabet. Rude. Okay, this is going to be a tough battle, I can tell you that. Oh my god. Whatever food we can, eat everything. Just have a feast real quick. It's fine. No one will judge you. Oh my god. A giant freaking dragon? When did we do that, huh? I don't remember that. Ooh, that was scary. What the hell? A full moon slash or something? Ooh, oh my gosh, the whole alphabet move again. Sick, our favorite. I love when you do that to us, Miriam. Other Miriam, doppelganger. Who's apparently stronger than me? What the hell? Huh? 
How much HP do you have, lady? This is rough because you kind of have to like learn her moveset, you know? That's with all of them. You kind of learn what they do and then be able to fight them. So sometimes it's really not realistic to try to get them on the first fight. Oh my god, she did the full moon slash right on our bodies. We're about to die, though, because we don't have any more... Unless she dies here soon, which I don't see happening. She's kind of just being the worst. We have to kind of stay away. Oh my god. Get on the other side of her. Hit. Oh my gosh. Yep, we did. We did. Alright, we're going to have to try that again. Well, what are you? <laughs> Our clone? We're at 16 minutes with that game over, so we can go for a little bit longer. Give this lady a couple tries. But yikes, that was rough. Let's try her again, our doppelganger. Hey, rude ass, don't be touching me. We have a very hard boss battle ahead of us. Yes, yes, we see you, clone. It's very messed up. Oh my god, she just went after us right away. We could have talked and been friends, lady. Who's a better friend than yourself? 86, she's rough. Oh, let's get the Silver Knight out. That being said, let's do the Optimizer. And maybe the Speed Belt honestly might be useful here. Because she's way quick. And that little bit that I was like, oh, it's minimal. That might matter here. Probably not. We're probably still screwed, but it could matter. I don't know how to dodge this fire thing, to be honest with you. You're very rude. Yikes. I don't remember that one, but it looks like if we get behind her there, we're okay. Can do some damage. Just try to get our slashes in when we can and dodge her as much as possible. Yikes. I like that the Silver Knight does dodge, like, block some of that for us. Get the hell away from me, you lady. Oh my god. Oof. Oh god. She almost got us right there. Ouch. Sorry, I'm trying to focus here. I'm getting all quiet. But she is rough. She's almost as bad as the blood bitch. Let's just stay away from her this round. Oh my god, that has a pretty long range, to be honest. None of that Crimson Storm crap on me. Or that full moon slash. That stuff's scary too. You're really rude. Ouch, don't use the alphabet on us. Nice, solid slashes, good. We have a pretty good range on this katana too, but she has the same freaking sword. Or a better one, I feel like. Get away from me with that flame crap. I like that e the portraits do at least 11 every time, that's nice. And the silver mite's doing 12 with his like light stuff that he does, so that's good. Those were some solid hits. Ooh, watch out. I think we just need to play the slow game with this one, you know? Make it so she doesn't hit us as much. And just try to get any little damage when we can, but don't risk it. Thank you, Silver Knight, for blocking that. And maybe he can get a hit on her, maybe. Alright, let's... I'm glad we look so different now from the beginning. If we still look like the same old Miriam, that would get confusing. Oh, nice, we got her. Transcendence. Slice the clone. Oh, and she just turned. What could we get from ourself? I'm kind of confused there. Shadow Tracer. Create a shadow double. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That sounds lit. What kind of move is that? Oh, it's the blue move. This move? It only lasts for as long as you hold it. But you could you? Oh, that's super interesting. I wonder if it does, like, the same damage as we would do. Whew. That's actually a game changer. Alright, so let's do this. Sorry, I have to, like, stop the game for half a second to check our timer. We're at 20 minutes. We have about 10 minutes left. 
Usually I just have a timer next to me on my phone started, and so I just kind of glance over and then see where I am and do that in my head, but now we're not because I forgot to set one. Alright, so that shadow thing might be useful. We'll have to see moving forward what we can do with that, but this elemental, all of the elementals always are rude asses. Like, <laughs> okay, let's get over this shit. And what do we get for that? A spiked breastplate. Is that going to be worth it or what? That's way better defense. I think it is worth it. Oh, and I think I'm over the speed belt with her. Let's see. I think that increases the attack power in proportion to the amount of enemies we've slain. Raise our critical hits. We have a lot of good things, to be honest with you. I guess we'll just put the plunders back on so that we can get more drop items from enemies and stuff. Hopefully we can get some rare stuff or rare equipment. I don't know. There's always things to be getting and doing. So we'll figure it out from there. So it looks like that was just kind of like a mid-boss or something. Just a halfway point for this area. Oh, what's her shard? That's interesting. Whip expertise. Eh, I don't use whips that much. That makes sense that she would have that, but... That's not something that we do. Oh, hey, back the hell up, sir. These elementals are trash. I hate them. These guillotines are really scary, actually. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that. Good job, Silver Knight. That makes five out of six. We just got to kill one more of those, and then whenever we travel back home, we'll get a reward. What is down here? These, There's so many traps everywhere. This place is crazy. Crazy, crazy town. There's the last one. You are going to be our victim, lady. There we go. So we can get a prize next time we go home. Good. Mahogany. We have a lot of mahogany, I feel like. What? There's just a bull there? That's kind of weird. Cut purse's ring right there. Nice. Ouch. Oh, ow. <laughs> wow, this place is brutal. What's over here? Another one of these ladies. We don't need to kill you anymore, but we will. Ha ha ha. And this macaron. We've seen a lot of you. I don't know why these kitties are so rude to us. Oops. She got a good slice out of us, actually. That kind of sucks. Queen's Tears. That's probably useful. We'll have to check that out. No, thank you, Dark Elemental. You're kind of the worst. Please stay away from me. Gosh, they're everywhere. Macaron, did you see all the dark elementals out there? It was terrible. We're happy to just deal with you, your cute bunny face. Crystal and mahogany, nice. At least we're filling out the map. Alright. Let's see here. Ooh, this looks like a transitional place. So maybe we'll, we'll go, we will be going somewhere new. I'm not sure. Inferno Cave. Oh, no. This is what he meant by the hot place, not the desert. So this is must, must be whatever is flying around as Angetsu is speaking about. An enemy that falls upwards, he said. Watch out for those fire elementals. They're being jerks, as always. Okay, this place is scary. I don't want to just fall straight down. Okay, it's just you. Ouch, ouch, we're getting wrecked right now. That's what high potions are for, but I don't want to be using all of them. If we can help it. Oh my god. And of course, scary... F oh gosh. Oh, we're dying. We're oh my god, we are getting ripped apart right now. Run! Please tell me this is a save room. It's not. Alright, food. That's all we have, though. Oh, that's a hellhound. It's creepy. Please don't hit us. Please stop hitting me. <laughs> we don't have the damage to be dealing with this. Oh, good, a dragon. What we always needed. How? How did I take damage there? That's rude. Please stay away from me, dragon. He's gonna breathe fire right now. Oh no, we killed him. Good job, Silver Knight. What do we get? Dragon scale and a dragon egg. Sick. 
We need a save room bad. Do you have one of those bugs? Oh my gosh. We have to be so careful around here. These are like the first original guys, but they're freaking scary and volcano-y. Is this the save room? Nope. There wouldn't happen to be one up there, would there? Probably not. Oh my gosh, that bee was about to get us. Did you see that? So these... Oh, these fire elementals are scary because they put those fire pillars there. Knock you back. That was an issue. Save room, save room, save room. Nope. Oh, God, run. Run from the hellhound. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Is there a save room? Oh, my gosh. What is this? A death trap. Sick. I can't do that. I need to save. Oh, sick. Save room. This place is helter skelter scary. This is rough. We have a couple more minutes, so let's explore a little bit more. Let's kill this death trap that's up here. Let's kill some of the fire elementals. Let's kill everything. Like, these guys are rude as hell. Killed one of those. Oh, that looks like a boss door. Sick. So we know where to go, I guess. Has a volcano erupted? The days are dark as nights, and the sky is red as blood at the very picture of hell. How long must this go on? Our crops are ruined, and the phenomenon is certain to have an ill effect on people as well. Perhaps this is opportune, a sign from God that the time of ritual is nigh. Oh wait, did I even read the second page? Sorry. The skies remain unchanged, and as expected, my superiors have called upon me to perform the ritual despite my friend's objectives. His opinion carries little weight in the face of the guild's nearly unanimous support. I must away. The ritual will be performed ten days hence, and I have many preparations ahead of me. Well, that does not... Ooh, a warp room. That's actually good. Actually, let's go get our prize. And then we can end the episode off there. That sounds good. That... This Inferno Cave, though, seems a little rough, and we maybe want to get... That Ice Sword seems appealing in an area like this, but it's so freaking slow. But any equipment or any rings or anything that could maybe resist fire? I don't know if we have anything like that, but if we did, that would be nice. Give me whatever you're going to give me. Diamond? I don't know what that does, but thank you. It's probably good. I doubt you have anything new, but let's just check... Mm, that thing's better, but it's a freaking... Oh, it's a club. And it's effective underwater, but look at how much better it is. Well, maybe I should do that and just check it out. Because if it's a club, we can use sword expertise with it, too, to even strengthen it even more. If it swings okay, you know. Weak, 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 weak. These are all weak. These are just the ape coin things. And then other things that we can't make. Silver tiara, that's trash. We can make crystal armor, which still isn't as good as what we have, but that's nice. A silk dress, not as good as what we have, but nice to see, I guess. Ooh, the flame scarf, that's way better, and he can make it now with the... We have a big spite. Raises our attack by a bunch, and defense. I want to do that for sure. Create and equip that immediately. I know I want to use that. No, it'll probably look cool. Pace yourself out there. It matches our outfit. Perfect. As far as the club... Is that something I want to be using instead? <laughs> yeah, it is. So let's go ahead and throw on... Sword Expertise. Actually, Sword Expertise is still not as good as Optimizer seems to be. So we'll keep Optimizer on. That sounds great. As far as shards go, sir, do you have anything for me? Probably not. Ooh, we could upgrade money as power. We haven't been really using that yet, so let's just save that. How about food? Nope. Alright. Oh, we do stop back often. And actually, I feel it. We got some nice new equipment. That'll help us in the area moving forward. But we will take care of that in the next episode. We're at 71.9% of the map completion. That is absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Make sure to hit smash that like button down below. Show the support for the series. I always really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.